This is the story of Deterra Johnson aka Baby D, aged 18, a young lady who was killed in the early hours of the day one month shy of her 19th birthday by her young boyfriend, Anthony York, age 20, for something really silly. Anthony would later abscond to Phoenix, Arizona where U.S. Marshals were able to track him down and arrest him for the brutal murder of Deterra Johnson. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. And we begin this afternoon with new details on the arrest of a man in connection to the murder of Deterra Johnson. Court records released just today detail what led to the murder of the 18-year-old at an apartment complex on Indy's South Side. Based on this case, we will be traveling to Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis is well known for the Indy 500. It is the capital and largest city of Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana is perhaps most famous for being the racing capital of the world. It is home to the iconic Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which hosts top-tier events like the Indy 500, Verizon 200, Brickyard 400, and formerly the United States Grand Prix. Yes, Deterra Johnson, also known as Baby D, aged 18, was born on February 25, 2003. She was said to be a recent graduate of Beach Grove High School, she was born and raised in Indianapolis. She planned on going to college and studying biology soon before the tragic incident happened. She is said to have a beautiful smile and was always pleasant. She loved talking with her mom. She was a happy, loving, and beautiful young lady. She was pleasant to everyone. She was always happy on social media with her family and friends. Well, I be down. Go Jay! Get your ass home! You die of dead! People been calling my phone back to back to back to back! You better run! You better Deterra decided to move out of her parents' home to get herself a new apartment. In 2021, she moved into her first apartment on her own on Creek Way in Indianapolis and life was good for her. She was seeing some guy named Anthony York, aged 20. Things seemed right with them but as it would turn, she was going through a lot of stuff she never shared with anyone. She kept most of the things that happened between them to herself so no one will judge her. When things started going south, she summoned the courage to write a bit about her relationship in riddles on Facebook. On December 23, 2021, she wrote on Facebook, If you don't want to make it right, that's fine with me but baby please don't play no games or waste no time with me, it's going kill me to let you go but you can leave. Deterra who has just lost her cousin was still grieving and didn't want to get involved in any kind of trouble, but her boyfriend Anthony was not an easygoing person. She had tried to break up with him but it didn't happen. On January 16, 2022, neighbors at the Stone Lake Apartments told police they heard arguing followed by two gunshots. Around 1.30 a.m. that Sunday on Creek Way just south of East Hanna Avenue, IMPD got a frantic call about a person being shot, a male's voice was on the other end of the call. Though the cops haven't shared what was said on the call. The call came from Deterra's phone. The caller did not give an address but police were able to ping where the call came from. Then they started a door-to-door -door search, then they found her door left wide open. Officers found 18-year-old Deterra Johnson left for dead inside of her apartment with gunshot injury. She was rushed to the hospital where she died hours later. Her phone and car were nowhere to be found, it had been taken by the killer. Hours later, someone posted from her Facebook account saying she was in heaven. That cause X showed the suspect leaving the victim's apartment and walk a short distance to a nearby dumpster where he disposed of a bag with clothes and papers. Lucky for the cops, those papers included bond paperwork with Anthony's name included. Deterra's neighbors and family told police from the beginning they suspected the crime was domestic related because she frequently fought with Anthony. Give people a chance to forget about this. As the days go on and we bury her, and we go on to our regular lives, we're not going to let this die down. We're going to apply pressure. She danced, did TikTok, me and her, that was our thing. Amber Freeman still finds it hard to put into words what happened 
on January 16th. My daughter did not deserve this. She was going to... <sighs> Around 1.30 that Sunday morning, just south of East Hannah Avenue, IMPD got a call about a person shot. When they got there, officers found 18-year-old Daytara Johnson left for dead inside of her apartment. Um, they didn't give an address, uh, but they had um, a ping from where the call came from. They had to go door to door, and then they finally came upon my daughter's door where her door was open, and they was able to see her laying in suffering from a gunshot wound. Johnson was rushed to the hospital where she died hours later. Her phone and car nowhere to be found. The family believes someone Johnson was dating is responsible for her death. As a community, you know, he could be brought to justice. There's still people out here that have a heart and have conscience. You know, everybody's not cold hearted like the man that did this to her. Adding to the family's heartbreak, days after Johnson died, a fake GoFundMe account started circulating, raising thousands of dollars. And someone who had access to her Facebook account was sharing messages to her family and friends. Um, everybody was uh, sharing it to shut it down and report it. And then maybe an hour after that, it was another post on her Facebook saying that I'm okay, I'm in heaven now. The cops tried to take Antony into custody but he was nowhere to be found when they tried to locate him, he had absconded. They went ahead to issue a warrant for him and a massive search for him ensued. Police were able to track Anthony down to Arizona by listening to jail phone calls involving the suspect's brother. After the confirmed through the jailhouse calls that he was in Arizona, IMPD homicide detectives traveled to Phoenix and spent five days working with the U.S. Marshals and the Phoenix Police Department. On February 10, York was arrested by a SWAT team. While in Phoenix, IMPD detectives collected possible evidence and conducted interviews related to their investigation. After being arrested, Anthony denied killing Deterra and even blamed an unnamed man in a mask. When asked why his version of the story didn't match with surveillance video from the scene, Anthony stopped talking. And we begin this afternoon with new details on the arrest of a man in connection to the murder of Daytara Johnson. Court records released just today detail what led to the murder of the 18-year-old at an apartment complex on Indy's South Side. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains how police were able to find her accused killer in Arizona. According to court records, surveillance cameras at the apartment complex showed the suspect leaving the victim's apartment and walking a short distance to a nearby dumpster where the suspect disposed of a bag with clothing and paperwork with his name included. That, combined with the words of neighbors, helped police track down the accused killer. In mid-January, neighbors here at the Stone Lake Apartments told police they heard arguing, followed by two gunshots. Police found 18-year-old Daytara Johnson inside her own apartment a short time later. According to this affidavit, Deterra's neighbors and family told police from the beginning they suspected the crime was domestic related because she frequently fought with her boyfriend, Anthony York, who's now accused of the murder. This case has really brought light to know that teens go through domestic violence. Uh, teen date and abuse is something that is happening in Indianapolis. Danielle Smith believes Deterra's death serves as a tragic reminder that friends and family need to report warning signs of domestic abuse. We want the community to feel more comfortable with speaking up. You're not alone. You don't have to deal with this alone. Let's end domestic violence! Just last week, Deterra's mother and family celebrated what would have been the victim's 19th birthday by marching around Monument Circle and releasing balloons with the goal of raising awareness about domestic violence. We just want everybody just to know if something is going on, just um, speak up because I don't want anybody else, uh, family to have to go through this. This is really, it hurts. The affidavit details police track York down to Arizona by listening to jail phone calls involving the suspect's brother. Court records also claim after being arrested, York denied killing Johnson, even blaming an unnamed man in a mask. When asked why his version of the story didn't match with surveillance video from the scene, York stopped talking. For now, the suspect remains behind bars in Phoenix, pending extradition to Marion County. 
The Marion County Prosecutor's Office has charged Anthony York with murder and carrying a handgun without a license. He is presently held without no bond. Deterra would have turned 19 on February 25, 2022. That day, her family held a domestic awareness march at Monument Circle in Indianapolis. We hope Deterra Johnson gets the justice she deserves and hopefully Anthony a well-deserved punishment. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Deterra Johnson. May Deterra's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.